Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wristwatch Wednesday. Today we've got the Nike watch back on the table. Um, if you remember, we changed the battery and stuff, and this got the time set. Uh, we're gonna try to polish out some of these scratches on this crystal. I think if I move that around, you can see it's got quite a few scratches. I've got my polishing compound, my towel. Uh, we're gonna see if we can do this by hand and get some of those out before we go to anything like a, a Dremel with a pad or anything like that. Um, so I'm gonna just take this and we're just gonna rub it really good on there. Um, it, it, it is amazing to me how good this polishing cloth or polishing compound and this microfiber cloth really really help these watch crystals now it's not going to get out all the deep scratches and all that but it, at a minimum it just cleans it up and makes these things really shine uh, looks like we've got some pretty good scratches here let's work on this top area right here and see if we can get uh, some of that now the problem is this this is an entirely plastic watch I believe I don't think this is metal up here let me just rub a little bit up there well, that might be it's hard to say it doesn't feel cold like metal um, probably just a plastic so I don't want to get it too high up there and risk uh, wearing some kind of coating off that plastic but we're going to work on this top top edge right here that's that's where things usually get scratched up the worst and you know when you're walking you hit your arm in a doorway or something like that that always seems to uh, be where a lot of watches take a beating Sometimes when you get it dulled like that, you can see the deep scratches. There's no way we'll get those deep scratches out, but especially on a digital watch, that's they don't have the nicer crystals usually like an analog or higher end watch would have. Now that to me looks much better. Look at that up there on the top. Yeah, you're still going to see some scratches, but man, that's so much clearer. We're going to work a little bit down here. Get a little more polishing compound on there. Alright guys, I think that's where we're going to leave that one. That, it still is a little scratched up there, but man, that looks so much better. I don't know if you guys can tell and see that, but that really looks a lot better. Anyway, that's just a quick tip on how I polish up these crystals just to make them a little better readable, a little more photographable. Uh, you're going to see the scratches in the photograph. Don't get me wrong. It, we didn't do this perfect. Um, and if I wanted to spend all day on this, I could probably get it done much better. But, man, that's, uh, that's a nice, clean one now. Uh, anyway, guys, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Remember... Turtle wax polishing compound is what I use. Uh, maybe use uh, uh, something a little stronger if you want, but that's what I use on these, and it uh, seems to work. All right, guys, that's all we got. See you next time.